Hey guys, in this video we'll show you how to record a reaction video, a tutorial video or any video that requires showing your screen and even your face. Let's get right into it. So what you'll want to do first is navigate to obsproject.com to download the open broadcaster software. As you can see here, you've got options to download it for Windows, Mac and Linux. Obviously select the OS that you use, in our case it's Mac OS. Wait for the download to complete, it shouldn't take too long. Here we go. Now double click the downloaded file and complete the steps to install it. On Mac you simply need to click and drag OBS into the applications folder and it's done. Nice. Now you just gotta open it. Cool, so you should see OBS. Let's jump into the settings over here first. So in general you don't actually need to change anything. We won't be streaming, so nothing to do here either, but if you will be, then select the relevant service and connect your account. As for output, most of the default settings are perfectly fine. The video bitrate encoder and even the audio bitrate. 192 will get you that quality crisp audio. It doesn't need to be higher than that. You might want to change the recording path. This is where the OBS video will be stored once you've finished recording. For the recording quality, we've opted for indistinguishable quality large file which means the video quality will be very good and the file size will be large but not too large so that's a pretty perfect balance and it will be good enough for most scenarios lossless quality is obviously better but the file size as you can see will be tremendously large and unnecessary we're sticking to the mp4 for the format since it's the most common and most compatible the encoder can stay as is nothing else to change in the output so for the audio, we like to keep the sample rate at 48, just so it captures that good quality. So it sounds high definition if you like. Nothing else needs to be changed here. For video, again, everything can remain as is, as they're all fine for us personally, but obviously feel free to adjust the resolution and the frames per second if you want to. Hotkeys are just shortcuts that you might want to add, but we're going to skip that. And finally, you've got the advanced settings, but nothing really needs to be changed here. So pretty simple. Cool, so onto the main part, adding sources. Of course you wanna capture your screen, so what you'll need to do is click this plus icon here and then you'll wanna select display capture. Give it a different name if you want to. We're gonna call it screen capture. Very basic, but, and then click okay. If your laptop is connected to a second monitor, then you can choose which one you wanna capture. For example, we've got an LG monitor connected, as you can see here, but we want to capture the Mac screen, so sticking to the built-in retina display. Also, it may be a good idea to untick show cursor so that your cursor doesn't show when you're moving it around whilst recording. Obviously, though, if you're going to be recording a tutorial, you'll want to keep it in because it will be pretty helpful. Once you're done, hit OK and you should be able to see your screen being mirrored inside OBS. The red outline shows the screen, but it's a little too big so you'll want to make sure you adjust it. You can simply click the corner and drag it in or out to make it either bigger or smaller. The black background you see here is the size of the Mac screen essentially, so you'll want the screen capture to sit inside it quite nicely. We'll come onto that a little bit later in the video. Next up, you'll want to turn off the microphone here by tapping the speaker icon. Just to be sure, you can turn it all the way down here as well. We'll get onto how to record your voice shortly. For reaction videos, you'll want to record the audio of the video that you're reacting to. So add another source, but this time select Audio Output Capture. Give it a different name if you want, and then choose your device. We've got the Black Hole 2 Channel plugin installed, because we'll be connecting to an external mic later on. The link to this plugin is in the description. Once you have it installed, make sure you change your speaker setting to Multi Output Device. Okay, so let's play a YouTube video and test this setup out before we continue. You can see the YouTube video audio is being captured as the audio level is moving. You can adjust the volume of it here if you want. Just make sure that the audio isn't hitting the red line. And now let's turn the microphone back on and now you can see the mic audio. But in order for OBS to record it, it needs to be added as its own input source. So let's do that. Hit the plus icon and select audio input capture. Let's call it Mac mic and then I'm going to select Mac microphone. We'll get onto the external mic a little later. Click OK and now you've got the built-in mic as a source so it will get recorded. Alright, time for a test. 
Let's hit start recording. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, so hit the right button and OBS will begin recording a video off your screen, plus the YouTube audio and your mic too. Here's a test from T. This is a test. OBS is capturing the YouTube audio and my mic audio at the same time. Lovely. So you can also record yourself as well. Simply add another source. This time select video capture device. Give it a name and select your camera, external or built in. We'll select our snap camera where you'll see T using one of the snap camera filters. If you want, you can download the plugin too. The link is in the description below. You don't need to change the preset. Go ahead and click OK. As mentioned earlier, you can resize the capture. Just click and drag to reduce or increase the size and move it to whatever position you prefer. You can have the screen capture smaller and your camera bigger or whatever. It's entirely up to you. On to the final part of the video, how to add an external mic. Hit the plus icon and click audio input capture. Give it a name and then you should see your external mic show up in the device drop down list. Click OK and you should see it under the audio mixer. Now let's just turn the YouTube audio capture down a little and here's the final test. This is a test. OBS is capturing the YouTube audio and my external mic audio at the same time. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Peace.